last bits of the walk. I'm hoping I'm getting gonna get to Bicknoller Post from here. No, not Bicknoller Post, um Bicknoller Coombe. I'm not sure yet. Look at all the heather coming out. Last time I was here it was quite dull, wasn't it? Look how gorgeous it is now. Look how gorgeous it is now. I'm just doing the last bit. It's still going. I just press a button and more, just quick another quick boost. I'll check the time when I know I'm on the right track. It's a bit noller. It will link up anyway. That's the Macmillan way there. I'm sure this is it. Thing is, because the cows are in the way, I couldn't come out and find my track. So I've got to just pre presume this is one. I think it is. I've made mistakes before, you see. At this stage in the game, you don't want to make mistakes. It's very, very hot. Um, and like I said, I was down in the coom earlier, and if I was doing the later time I'd still be two hours behind myself I'd still be two hours behind I think I can still link up with my my track from here though I reckon I can I might end up going down Crookham <laughs> it's only up here Yeah, we go around here, we're running. Oh. <sighs> I probably wouldn't do much more now anyway, I haven't packed up. Because um, we've done weekend before. Very gorgeous, so it's going to be even more glorious within the next month. It will continue to be very glorious. This could even be the track here. Yeah. I know there was a deviation when I came out from the cows. Normally I come along a bit, then I turn, I think. But it just, I think it links up with this one, so we're still alright. But it did throw me for a bit. <sighs> so pretty, and all the flowers, the wild grasses, the purple heather, the yellow gorse, the blonde grasses. So I met one bloke, God he was so pale white, he really was, he looked like he hadn't been in the sun for years. He just sat, he was walking along, he had his shirt off and he, he, he was, he didn't have a hat or anything, he just looked, well he just looked really white. Very white, there's white and white isn't there? He was as white as a sheet of paper, put it that way, that's how white he was. Right folks, before we start descending, there's Beacon Hill, just zoom in, we saw that earlier in the distance when I came up from Kokum, that's Beacon Hill there, right, and then over there is Minehead and the sea, the blue sea, it's bluer over there because they don't have those muddy rivers like we got at Weston. So basically I'll be going down there and then turning right and going down the coombe. I haven't checked the time yet. I'm going to check the time. The very first tree I come to with some shade. I'm going to check the time. It's very, very hot. Now this is the, supposed to be in the cooler of the days. 
you know, like, I reckon it's more than 25, actually. I, it feels more like 30 to me. And they did say on the other days that it could reach 35, 40. So I would say this is pushing 30 degrees here. So every now and again, though, that cool breeze will come. Now you can cut across. If I wanted to go down the other way, I could cut across there now, but I'm not going to. I feel like going downhill. Going down Bicknall or Coombe. I haven't been down it actually for a while. So, Crocombe is course right over that hill. We've done a great big loop. I was going to do more, but I thought it's too much. If I made a mistake at this stage in the game and missed a bus or didn't find the bus stop, it would be, wouldn't be very nice in this hot weather. So basically what I thought was, when I come over again, I'll get off at the next stop up from the Bicknola post, at uh, the Bicknola village. And uh, I'll, I'll explore from that way. Just having a quick look, see if we can see any deer. They're usually out on the banks. On both sides. I did see two that leapt and followed me by a stream for a short period. Only for a short period and then they disappeared. Young deer, very young, very they look very healthy. Right, I'm just gonna turn off and take some photos now folks. I don't know if I'll come back on again because um camera probably die. Here we go. Down Bicknall the Coombe. Lots of sheep wisely under trees. Um, I thought the camera had finished then and then I um, don't think I left anything there did I? I sometimes it's worth going back to check. You never know. Uh, what's that there? Is that, is that just a lump? Yeah, I had a bit of cheese and tomato then, and a nice gulp of water. So, I've still got an oat bar and a packet of cheese nuts anyway. I think that's enough for today. I, th I think I could have done we come, but I think no. I think let's finish while, while you feel alright, rather than burn yourself out too much. Little sheep there. He's going to have to move. Look at him. Oh, bless him. He's getting up and he's in a nice cozy place. He could do with a short bit more shearing. Anyway, I've decided to get the half past three bus. That'll get me back for four o'clock. I might catch, I might miss a bus, a train. I might not. I don't know. Um. So, whatever happens, I can always get a nice cold milkshake and a sandwich for about a fiver. And um, that's what, that usually fills in a bit of time doing that. So I don't really mind, but I feel ready to... I mean, I've been, yes, I've been walking for six hours, by the way. You know, I mean, I sat down a couple of times, um, only twice, once at Holford. And once, no, I stand most of the time. Yeah, I stand because of tech, so I won't, I won't sit down. So basically, I've got a nice gentle plod down here. Um, I'm going, I've just missed a bus, the half past two. Obviously, I've got loads of time in one way, you could say. But the thing is, it, it really goes fast when you get to about a bus two. Now, I would be two hours behind now, don't forget. Which means it would be about a bus four by the time I got here now. If I'd done the a late start. So I probably wouldn't have got, I, I probably would have had to have got a uh, half past five bus. And then had to wait possibly an hour for a train. 
when I got to Taunton. So I'm still glad. I, I know I had to pay the extra seven quid. But the thing is, it did get me out here earlier. And I, I could relax and not feel I've got a pace. Because I'd be, if I was two hours behind now, I'd, I'd be thinking about the time a lot more. And uh, whereas here, I can plod along knowing I've got time to get the Hoppos 3 bus and and, and knowing that I will get a train eventually so Ooh, little Balam So what I'm doing, I'm just videoing as I go because this little battery charger seems to be keeping the camera rolling for a lot longer. Well, I'm going to take pictures now, but I'll be rolling on down until I get to the stream at the bottom and then making my way down through the village. And I've got the other camera if I just want to do any more, but this might be enough for today. I've been walking for six hours. <laughs> 